It's important for women to be ministered to because we are the foundation of the family and we carry a lot of burdens and we carry a lot of responsibilities and it really helps if we have a network or a sisterhood that we can confide in, that we can share, that we can commiserate, that we can laugh, we can talk, we can play, only because it helps to strengthen us as individuals and then we go back to our families refreshed and revived and we can minister to them uh, more effectively and more efficiently. to share a devotional thought for Women's Day appropriately titled, For Such a Time as This, I Hesitated, only because I needed to hear a word from the Lord. Once I did, I prayed for guidance in terms of what to share, and I was led to a devotional in which I carefully considered one positive aspect of this crisis, the basis of our time together today. About two weeks ago, at the conclusion of an online presentation for which I was the facilitator, I offered our participants the opportunity to play an online version of the game, Would You Rather? The selections included, would you rather win an Academy Award or win an Olympic gold medal? Or would you rather have a smart home or a self-driving car? Or would you rather have more time or more money? While the answers were sometimes an equal split for the previous selections, most respondents, when presented with the choice of having more time or more money, the resounding unanimous response was that everyone chose only one answer, more time. In January 2019, while visiting my high school friend who had recently lost a parent, I inquired about our mutual high school chemistry teacher who had played a significant role in my academic career. My friend gave me a brief update and I expressed an interest in visiting with my former teacher to personally thank her for her words of wisdom and exhortation to me, a then 16-year-old student. However, time did not permit me to visit as we had another appointment to meet, even though my teacher was literally five minutes away walking distance from my friend's home. There are several different crises we will all experience in this life. However, our current crisis has given us both good and bad, negatives and positives, and blessings and curses. Yet, in the midst of it all, I want to share with you just one positive aspect of this crisis, and that is the gift of time. How do I know? Let me give you one typical example. If you are working outside the home, the traffic may be reduced, so you're getting to your destinations quicker. How are you spending those extra minutes daily, which translates into hours weekly? If you're working from home, how are you spending your previous commuting time? For example, to get to work on time and drop the student off to school meant I had to leave home 90 minutes before reporting to work. Hence, I have just reclaimed an hour and 30 minutes in the morning, an hour and 30 minutes in the afternoon, five days per week, 15 hours per week. If you are home working, how have you restructured your time in this crisis? Maybe you're caring for young children, teaching older school-aged children, or you are the caregiver for aging parents or retired from former employment. How are you managing your time for such a time as this? How many times have we said, I would do this or I would do that if only I had more time? What are some goals that you always wanted to accomplish if only you had more time? What type of person would you be post-crisis, post-pandemic? How are you using this experience of the crisis to fortify and prepare you for the next crisis? Given the gift of time, how are you spending those extra minutes, hours or days? So this is where I would be tempted to give you a laundry list of goals and activities you could consider during this time. However, I refrain from doing so, as I believe that intuitively each one of us knows what we should be doing differently and how we should be managing this rare gift of time. 
And if there is one individual who may need some guidance, I point you to Jesus Christ, God the Father and the Holy Spirit. Ask the Holy Spirit for wisdom in navigating this gift of time. He will respond, and when you hear the still, small voice in your spirit, mind, or soul, and when you receive a word of insight from your networks and it resonates with you, that may be your clue as to what you should be doing and how you should be spending your time in a positive and uplifting manner. Unfortunately, I did not have an opportunity to tell my high school chemistry teacher in person what a difference she made in my life. She passed away before I could visit again. Please do not let this be your testimony. Instead, and in closing, for such a time as this, let us choose to tell the people in our lives how much they mean to us. For such a time as this, let us use the gift of time to prepare us for the next crisis. For such a time as this, let us make our calling and election sure. And may God watch between me and thee while we're absent for such a time as this. I was created for such a time as this.